guys, welcome to December 2nd. It's Lori. And I got coffee. I stopped at Tim Hortons. There's one right by my house. I always get Tim Hortons in Canada, but I get it here too. Hot. Mm. I was up late last night stitching on the Jingle Ball. And Tim Hortons, I didn't know, carries now egg bites. So, what am I doing today? Well, I have the Jingle Ball today. I have not even opened my advent calendars yet. Um, I had my holiday party. I was very bad with footage, but I'll show you the pictures I took. I took one picture. I'll show you the picture I took, and I will show you that. Well, we have other pictures, but I'll have to show you the pictures. Um, so I'm going to Watershed Distillery here in the Columbus area. They have a release today in 20 minutes. They're releasing bourbon finished in a maple barrel. So I thought that would be great for my cousin. My Grinch earring back is coming off. Um, so I'm gonna go pick that up or, or get him something there for Christmas. And then my brother wants a gift card to the PGA Golf Store. So I'm going there to get him a gift card. And then I'm going home, I think. Probably. Probably. I'll see if I can film inside the distillery. I don't know what the rules are there. Quite frankly, I've never been there. I didn't make any like plan plans this weekend because I'll be stitching. Hopefully this weekend. I need to open my advent calendars when I get home. I need to do laundry when I get home. Um, or work on laundry. Mm, good. That's good. Yeah, boy, yeah. It's my first time trying them. All right. Let me stop babbling and get to the distillery so I'm not... Well, it's from 10 to 2. So let's go. Crystal shopping. Okay, it's time for Advent opening, but I wanted to show you, if I have them over here, the pictures that were taken. I do. I just made coffee in my Hocus Pocus cup because we're multi-seasonal around here. No, Alex, it's not for you, buddy. Um, these are the pictures we took at the party. They had like a green screen. So my sweater has green Christmas trees on it, but it picked up the background because it's green screen. And then we did a group picture with a bunch of my work buddies, which I think that is so much fun. I don't know why my camera is crooked today, but it is irrelevant. Let us open the cheese, shall we? We'll start with cheese today. Probably because I'm hungry. We're looking for day two. Oh, found it. Um, no tea today, but I did try the tea last night and it was delicious. So I'll probably have the other one tonight or maybe save it. I have enough tea. Number two is Red Lester cheese. And Red Leicester is a classic Red Leicester cheese made in the heart of England. So I don't know if it's like a cheddar, but we'll taste it in a moment. Um, number two, we'll use this one from Sarah's advent calendar. Are you ready for your trivia question? So we're not cheating around here, let me tell you. I'm just making room and do something with the tape. Okay, in the movie Elf, how does Buddy get to the North Pole? In a Christmas, in Santa's bag? In Santa's Christmas bag? He hides in Santa's sack. I'm smart. That's fun. And what's in our treat? Oh, I don't need to check that tea. I got some spiced Christmas tea for tonight. And this is black tea with spices and natural flavors. And then we have a couple sugar-free candies. So I'll save these for tonight while I'm stitching. 
because that's what I do, guys. It's, um, if you're a cross-stitcher, I think I mentioned it yesterday, it's Jingle Ball weekend. So I'm doing this video, and then I'm going to go sit across the room in my chair. Let me move my coffee. And I'm going to jingle. Let's open the woobly, because yesterday we got stuffing, which I think is just weird for day one, but whatever. Okay, so our woobly day two. It's another big drawer. And we get yarn. To make a Santa sack and we get our needle. Okay. So, but I don't have my crochet hook. Wasn't I supposed to get a crochet hook? I feel like I was supposed to get a crochet hook with this. I'm going to have to email somebody. But we're going to make this tiny sack. How fun is that? So that will be a later project. But I do need to message somebody because I feel like this was supposed to have come with a crochet hook. And I did not. And I feel like that should have been in like day one. Right. Let's see if there's anything on the back. No, nope. I'll message them. It's the first year they're doing this, right? Okay, and then day two of my um, Evertote Roxy Floss Co. Jacob of Modern Folk Embroidery Stitch Along. Let's see what day two has for us. And you gotta open these, because yesterday I missed, but I went and collected it. I'll show you here in a second. Yesterday, I missed the ring to hold all my floss. I haven't started my advent yet. I'm doing that next. Ooh. Forest, frost and found. Look at that green. Oh, it's almost like a frost colored pine like it's been frozen. Oh, how pretty. I love greens. So these two together are everything for me. And then it says, this is gonna be the next part of the pattern, but it says Winter Time by Robert Louis Stevenson. Late, late lies the wintry sun abed, a frosty, fiery, sleepy head, blinks but an hour or two, and then a blood red orange sets again. Before the stars have left the skies, at morning in the dark I rise, and shivering in my nakedness, by the cold candle bathe and dress. Close by the, close by the jolly fire I sit, to warm my frozen bones a bit, or with a reindeer sled explore the colder countries round the door. When to go out, my nurse doth wrap, me in my comforter and cap. The cold wind burns my face and blows its frosty pepper up my nose. Black are my steps on silver sod. Thick blows my frosty breath abroad. And tree and house and hill and lake are frosted like a wedding cake. Oh, that's a wonderful. From 1885. That is a wonderful poem. His Jacob is amazing. We all know that. So I have two days to catch up on of that today. Let's try our Red Leicester cheese. I'm starving. It's like almost one o'clock and I haven't eaten, or two o'clock. It's 1.44. But I did get Christmas shopping done and I went and got whiskey. That was delicious. I could not video inside. Mm, 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 mm. Firm, sharp. I love sharp cheese. It's like a sharp cheddar. Yeah, mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. That's really good. And it's a firm cheese. Almost like a hard. Yeah, I like that a lot. But it's also cold, so. Anywho, so um, I did that. I went and got the bourbon for Christmas. I went and got a gift card for my brother. And then I had ordered, I'll show you on the next one as soon as I pick it up. My brother and niece and I do these things every year where we get each other 
pictures of ourselves. It's a thing. If you've watched my channel for a while, you know it's a thing. One year I got a car air freshener of my brother's face. I used it for two years too, until it shriveled up. Um, so I ordered a picture of myself, duh, like you do, and I sent it to my CVS. And then it said, oh, your pictures are ready. So I went to get them and they only had one. And I had ordered a three for other things, other gag gifts. And only one was ready. So I waited and I waited and it keeps saying creating it. I'm like, no, nah, something's not right. So I call CVS photo and she's like, oh, your store canceled it. They must've been out of the paper or something. I'm like, okay, well, nobody seemed to know that. So they sent it to another CVS. So as I'm across town, like a half, ooh, like a half an hour from my, um, from this side of town, I get a text that says it's ready at the other CVS. So I drive to that CVS on my way home. So it's about 20 minutes from here. And I go into the store and I pick up a few things and I go up to the counter. I'm like, hey, I have pictures ready. And hi, look from here. Come on. Um, she's like, uh, it's not ready. There's people ahead of you. I'm like, I, I just got an email. So she was really sassy. Here, Baba. Hi. That was Wellington. Come here. Yeah. Come on. There you go. There you go. Yeah, this is my baby. For those that don't know, he he's 16. So he's my senior cat. There you go, baby. He um he smells the cheese I'm eating and he wants it, but oh sorry, I'll get him some in a minute. He just went to the vet for his senior checkup because that's what he does. And um his heart enzymes were super high again. So Two years ago for his senior blood work, his heart enzymes were 72, normal. Um, last year when he went, his blood enzymes were 500, not normal. So we put him on blood pressure medication, which brought his blood pressure down because he did have high blood pressure. Hi, sweetie. And then, um, you know, we were gonna wait a year and see what happens. So we took it again and it was over a thousand. So we were a little concerned bag a little I mean I was a lot concerned no baby you can't get up there so um a cardiologist came into my vet's office he travels around and he did a heart echo on him and he said that everything was okay with his heart there was nothing like a little bit of cardiomyopathy but that's to be expected at his age and that everything else looked really good and all of his other blood work is good so we're not quite sure why his blood enzymes are so high but we're just going to continue to monitor it and next year, if they're up again, he'll have another cardio echocardiogram just to check and make sure. You know, that's what you do when you have a senior pet. You just do a lot of stuff. He's holding his weight well, which is good because that was a concern. But he has always been a lean cat. Like, unlike Alex over there. No, baby, you can't get on there. Unlike Alex, who is not a lean cat, he, um, he has always been thin. So, but he was losing frequently losing weight, pretty concerning last year, but he's back to eating and his blood pressure's good and he's he's healthy and all of his blood work, so he's good. Um, so that's everything for right now and I will talk with you, I need to go stitch. I also need to email Woobles and find out where my hook is. But okay, I will chat with you, bye.